the Mega Man X3 task just got even crazier. And that's because this time around, we are going to be getting 100% of the items, or should I say, Tass is going to be getting 100% of the items. And uh, by the way, I've explained what Tass is before in uh, some of the earlier Tass videos we've done, but it's been a while and a lot of people have been confused. So if you don't know, what Tass is, is when you basically go into the game, it's a tool assisted speedrun. You basically edit every single frame of gameplay to not only do inhuman perfection, into a video game speedrun to see the absolute limits of the game. But you could also manipulate RNG through different ways. You could see sub pixels in the game that you just can't see without, you know, using tools, which is why it's a tool assisted speedrun or TAS. And I do joke around and say that TAS is a speedrunner. And you know what? Technically, TAS is a speedrunner. I mean, what's TAS doing right now if not speed running the game? But anyway, I just thought I would refresh you guys since I've seen a lot more comments recently wondering who and what TAS may be. There you go. But anyway. To the actual game, we have Zero showing up as always. The intro stage is going to be very similar, if not the exact same, to the uh, any percent run because uh, there's no items in the intro stage as far as I'm aware. Maybe there's a secret one I've never heard of, but I, I would doubt it. Let's see if Zero does something different because in the any percent run, Zero shot two charge shots and then a Z Saber. And I think all you need is a Z Saber. Yeah, I don't know why that's faster. Maybe it's the RNG manipulation. I don't know. In the in the RTA or the, you know the real human being speedruns, normally Zero shoots one charge shot and then the Z Saber. So I don't know, guys. I don't know what the deal is with that, but it's probably faster somehow. I mean, it's Tass. We all know Tass is a. Uh, the best speed. I just explained what Tass is. I'm not going to go through this again. But we have the final boss of the intro stage. And who could it be? Oh, the city turned red in fear. Oh, gosh. This guy's huge. Mega Man doesn't stand a chance. Also, for the people saying that his name is X and not Mega Man, his name is Mega Man X. So either one is, is fine. I mean... The game is called Mega Man X. But anyway, let's go on to the actual game. Ooh, and this time it looks like we are starting with Tunnel Rhino Stage. Last time we did Tunnel Rhino Stage 3rd, I believe. That's what you do in the any percent run. And we did Blizzard Buffalo first. So I don't know what the deal is here, but uh, I guess we'll find out. I'm sure there's going to have to be some revisits because the only games that you can get away with not revisiting a single stage in would be Mega Man X2 and Mega Man X7, surprisingly. So... There will be revisits. I think there was a sub tank up there, so we're definitely revisiting this stage. I mean, you need the upgraded arm cannon and the... What's, what's the other? The Triad Thunder to punch the ground to get some of these upgrades as well, so... Obviously, we'll revisit this. I assume we're going here to get the the weapon from Tunnel Rhino, which allows you to get a couple upgrades. It'll let you get one in... In uh, Crutch Crawfish's stage, maybe one in Blizzard Buffalo stage, but I could be wrong. If there is one in Blizzard Buffalo stage, that would explain a lot. Probably the main reason we go here first, honestly, because normally, I mean, it's pretty, pretty universally Blizzard Buffalo. But I don't know a lot about the 100% runs, and goodness gracious, what a way to kill that mini boss! That mini boss always gives me a lot of trouble. I don't know about you guys, but that mini boss is never that easy. Am I crazy here? I mean, I, I try pressing that button as fast as I can. I can never kill that mini boss like that. Good golly gee. But it's time to continue on with the stage. There isn't much left. We got a few more crabs, a few more meatballs. Those tanks do a lot of damage, way more than they should. And we have these weird Mega Man X3 ladders where the top of them has a weird hitbox. But let's just fight Tunnel Rhino. Oh, and there he is. Tunnel Rhino himself. The guy that looks like a generic dollar store toy that's off-brand in some way. And taking intentional damage here. I wonder what that's for. Um, in Rockman and Forte, there's a lot of intentional damage taken because there's an upgrade you can get in that game where you do more damage if you're at less than half health or something. In this game, there is no such upgrade. So maybe this is some kind of RNG manipulation to avoid the uh, rainbow pearlescent thing. And it looks like that's the case because we didn't see a single rainbow pearlescent phase from this guy, which normally makes the bosses go invincible in Mega Man X3. And uh, when the bosses go invincible, you cannot damage them, meaning that is slower. So great fight, Taz, as always. And now it appears we are going to Blizzard Buffalo stage. So I assume I was right and there is an upgrade here that requires Tunnel Rhino's weapon. There it is, yeah. This was the one I was thinking of, but I wasn't 100% sure if it was Tunnel Rhino's weapon because it's been a while. But yeah, there we go. We got our first heart tank. Would you look at that, guys? I think you could also use the uh, machine there, but I always use Tunnel Rhino's weapon. Yeah, not, uh, I don't know, not much to say about that. An empty room, fun to see. This is actually one of my favorite rooms in this level because, uh, you know, the slipping and sliding on these iced pillars, or not pillars, iced slopes, makes Mega Man go very fast, as we saw. We got some more Mega Man X3 ladders, always fun to climb up, um, except for one thing. 
Ooh, we get the Iceless Jump. It's not called Iceless in this game, but that jump is uh, an easier version of the one from Mega Man X where you get the Heart Tank and Boomer Kawanger stage. And that jump, that slide jump to get these dash boots is also harder than you would think. So it looks like we got all three upgrades in the stage, which would explain why we went to Tunnel Rhino first. That allowed us to get the Heart upgrade, not so we don't have to do a revisit on Blizzard Buffalo stage, basically, as far as I'm aware. I don't think there's any other upgrade in here. If there is, it's a chip. I don't know where all the chips are. I'm not even going to lie because I always get the golden chip, which we will see. But first, okay, well, first of all, that's a crazy glitch. Cool visual glitch. It's snowing inside there, but uh, let's fight Blizzard Buffalo. And there he is, the most challenging robot master in the entire series. Of course, for those of you who don't know, Blizzard Buffalo, um, he tries to charge you across the whole stage. But if you jump into the air, his AI thinks that you are jumping over him, so he turns around. But what I like to say is... uh. You jump in the air, he turns around, he doesn't see you, and then he gets so mad that he bangs his head against the wall, which is really a more accurate depiction of what we're seeing here, but either way, he's dead. Now we have Neon Tiger Stage. This should be interesting. I'm pretty sure we can get all the upgrades here, and we should be seeing some very nice gameplay. Ooh, even the drill just hit two of those things at once. Wall jumping off that guy, air dashing upwards. Gotta get this sub tank right there. How could you forget? And of course, those little bugs can be used as platforms. They're supposed to be used that way. And Tass is making this look very easy, by the way. It's not so easy to do that room as cleanly as that. I mean, it's not hard to do, but to do it that cleanly is crazy. And here's another reason we went to Tunnel Rhino early. But even in the any percent route, you do Tunnel Rhino before Neon Tiger. So really, it was just to go to Blizzard Buffalo without uh, without <laughs> having to revisit a stage. But yeah, this is the... What part is this? The arm part? I don't even know. Yeah, the arm part. Okay makes sense i know the head part is in total rhino stage i think maybe i'm just i don't know i i i don't remember which part is where it's been a long time since i've beaten this game 100 percent i've done it many times but i get confused where everything is I'll, I'll always find it i'll be like i know there's a secret in this area but i don't remember what it is until i see it Ooh, what a fast i that was really fast that was abnormally fast i mean we did just get the upgraded buster so we got the extra powerful charge shot in there as well as his weakness which is the ice thing and speaking of weaknesses we do not have neon tiger's weakness so i guess Tass does not care and we're going to see another buster only fight also Tass right there is a swag strike going up against the door as the boss died so it just automatically transitioned didn't have to walk and oh my gosh these look like super metroid like kago strats going through these guys by hitting him with the drill thing I assume that makes their uh, hitbox just go away or something. I'm not exactly sure how that works. And with Ice Out, I would assume Bit's about to show up. Yep, here's Bit. Now, since this is 100%, I'm curious to see if we're going to actually kill Bit with the weakness. Um, apparently, that is slower. Now, if you don't know, if you leave Bit or Bites alive, you get God Car Machine Oinari, which is a boss combining the two of them. And if you kill both of them with their weakness, then um, you don't get that boss. But... It's also faster, like um, someone in my comments pointed out, that it's also faster to not kill them because they don't explode as you just saw. They teleported away, they split into two right there, bit did. And if you were to kill them with their weakness, they would explode a thousand explosions of fiery death as we've seen in all the Mega Man games, but especially Mega Man X. And uh, that many explosions takes a long time. And we just saw some neon jumps. Those were neon jumps. If you use a fully charge shot in midair, you get like a frame or two to do another jump and another dash crazy technical trick and i was happy to see it so let's fight neon tiger here he is the tiger himself not very neon well i suppose he has uh, some neon colors on him it's hard to tell with him constantly flashing but uh throwing in the ice power in there too interesting that's definitely not his weakness he is weak to crush crawfish's uh weird disc weapons but it doesn't matter what he's weak to because Mega Man X has killed him. Ooh, and now we have Gravity Beetle stage. Interesting. I'm always, I have no idea what the route is in this category. I've never even, I've obviously never seen the task, but I don't think I've ever seen a 100% speedrun for Mega Man X3. And what is this? It looked like Mega Man X missed that jump and then switched to zero. Ooh, getting into the wall. What is this? I assume changing the characters messes your hitbox just right to get in there. That is insane. Normally, you'd have to get like a robot or something, or maybe one of the. No, I think maybe Blast Hornet's weapon? No, not Blast. I don't even know how you get that normally. I guess one of the robots, which we will be getting all the robots for 100%, by the way. But that was crazy. I love that glitch. That was cool. I mean, I've never seen that before, but very cool. Very cool. What? What was that? Was that an extra life? Why was it so glitched? That's gotta be a sub tank, right? It didn't look like a heart tank. Maybe it was a heart tank. I don't know. I didn't even look at the health. I'm not even gonna lie. I didn't look at the health, but uh, 
it was something. It was an upgrade. And it was really glitched out. I don't know what... I, I, I guess because... No, wait. We just got the heart tank. So that has to be a sub tank. And I guess because we didn't get that robot or we did some other glitch. And I, I don't know. I'm, I'm at a loss for words, guys. I am flabbergasted, gobsmacked, whatever you want to call it. That's what I am right now. <laughs> because we're, this, this is a crazy stage. I didn't expect to see any glitches in this stage, let alone such cool ones. But anyway, let's kill Gravity Beetle. Here's Gravity Beetle. Now, this guy is dangerous. He can release black holes, but we do have his weakness, it appears. So, uh, that's good. Ooh, and using the char shot and immediately bringing it on top of him, that should save a lot of time. Now, if you don't know the... Ch okay, that was a cool dash. Gotta point that out. The char shot for Neon Tiger's weapon makes a disco ball in the sky that just randomly shoots things everywhere, so... Breaking it instead of allowing that to happen is obviously much faster. And, uh, yeah, Gravity Beetle is dead. And now we have Toxic Seahorse in the sewers. Maybe we'll run into the, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles here, huh? Because we're, uh, because we're in the sewers? Anyway, this was always, uh, casually one of my favorite stages to get all the items on because, uh, the secrets here are very cool. They're not, like, crazy. I, I don't know if I'd say they're the coolest secrets in the game, but they are cool nonetheless. Like, up here going up this wall that's a cool secret it reminds me of the wire sponge weapon where you just go to the left and instantaneously get a heart i like secrets like that that are just all out in the open and such i don't know maybe that's just me convoluted secrets are great too don't get me wrong but uh i don't know i like these secrets okay now we should be seeing something crazy here oh we didn't even need to see a neon jump because i forgot we had the upgraded uh, arm cannon Ooh. And jumping on the water like this, this is not like as hard as a neon jump, but it's harder than you would think it would be, believe me. So we got a robot right there, an upgrade chip? What is this? We're not going to pick up the upgrade chip, we got to get the gold thing. But we're switching to zero, so I assume we're going to see something crazy. Skipping the mini boss? What happened to the door? <laughs> this, this is already so much crazier than the any percent run, I... Oh my gosh. What? The 80% run had a few really cool glitches, but like none of them were as crazy as this. <laughs> That's awesome. We should be still seeing some glitched graphics, it looks like, too. All right, well, I'm already very satisfied with this run. Um, we, we got the hard upgrade. The doors are a little bit messed up. We got a robot upgrade here. The doors are still messed up. Let's just kill Toxic Seahorse. And there he is, Toxic Seahorse. He is weak to the ice weapon, but he has an iframe glitch meaning that his invincibility frames don't work for some reason. Don't ask me why. I'm not sure how it works, but I know that it does. So uh, he is dead. And now it's time for Blast Hornet stage. Let's see how this goes. I'm not really expecting anything here. Oh, okay. Well, we immediately get a neon jump. I shouldn't have said anything, or maybe I should have because I enjoy seeing these uh, exploits and glitches and whatever. I know there's a weird chip thing here. One of the chip upgrades is here, but we're not going to get that. We're going to get the golden chip, as we'll see. If you don't know what the chips are, they're like upgrades on top of your armor upgrades. So there's like a chip for your leg parts. There's a chip for your arm parts. And uh, the golden chip just does all four of them at once. And the thing with the original chips is you can only get one. So if you're going to get one, you might as well get the, the one that does all of them, right? Anyway, that guy was taken out very fast because this time we have the upgraded um, acid from Toxic Seahorse with the upgraded arm cannon, of course. And that was his weakness, so... Cool wireframe, though, must say. Neon jump again? We're probably going to be seeing a lot of neon jumps in this run, because with the dash boots especially, you could dash directly upwards in the air, and uh, that's pretty helpful. I'm not sure if you guys are aware. Okay, what, what was that? Why did Mega Man... What? Mega Man broke something down there. What was that about? Okay, we got the hard upgrade. Did Mega Man... What was that? No, I'm rewinding. What is that? What is... No, that... Oh, that is... Okay, there's a... There's, um... There's a robot ride armor thing in there that's trapped inside of a thing that you're supposed to break. You can't even see it on screen when it's destroyed, and I believe just breaking it unlocks it. I think that's what happened. Maybe I'm mistaken, but... I, I literally couldn't even see what was going on. There was like five pixels of that thing on the screen. I mean, goodness me. Are we going to see Bite? Oh, there he is. Big Bellied Bite. There he is. Time for him to die or at the very least teleport away. Now, we do once again have the upgraded arm part, so uh, his weakness should do even more damage than before. But we're not going to kill him with his weakness because uh, explosions take too long. So teleport out of here, Bite. See, it'd still be exploding right now if he, if he was actually dead. Uh, it would probably still be exploding. 
maybe by now would be wrapping up, but he could still be exploding. I don't know. Anyway, that was a good comment by that guy. I, I don't remember who it was. I apologize. If someone pointed that out, you can check it in the last Mega Man X3 task video. And yeah, let's uh, kill Blast Hornet. And there he is. Blast Hornet the Bee. I hate bees. They're, they're mean. They sting. And this guy's weak to Gravity Well, but Gravity Well is a... Uh, oh, there it is. Never mind. I was going to say, I assume Gravity Well is a... Uh, has too much invincibility for- ooh, a pause cancel? Oh my goodness me. What is this, Mega Man 9? <laughs> you guys get that right with, with the Galaxy Man's weapon? Anyway, Blast Hornet is dead. And now we're at Volt Catfish's stage, which should be very fun in terms of upgrades. Now, I don't think we're gonna go to the uh, Secret Vile layer or the Mysterious Maverick layer or whatever it is. We're not going there because it's faster to do that in Crush Crawfish's stage. And uh, surprisingly, we haven't had to do much backtracking. I think the only backtracking... Oh, here we go. Neon jumps. There we go. Neon jumps. We love to see him. Is he going to touch the spikes? Ooh. Ooh. That was about as close as you could get without touching those dang spikes. Let me tell you what. Oh, and neon jumps just to speed up the wall climbing. That's just not... Oh, and a neon jump there. I'm pretty sure you need Volt Cap... No, you need Gravity Well. It's charged up gravity well. But who has time to charge that up? Just neon jump up there, of course. My goodness. Which upgrade? Is this a chest upgrade? Yeah. There we go. And uh, now Mega Man takes... I don't even remember what this is. It either like takes half damage or Mega Man heals himself slowly. But that might be the chip that heals himself. I don't remember. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I don't remember. I just, I just get it. Why not? It's good. It's probably good. Anyway, I think the only other upgrade in this stage is a robot. So let's see if we uh, get that. It looks like we will because normally you would go down. Oh, no, we're, we're using a robot. Okay. We we'll, we'll probably wouldn't be using a robot if we aren't going to get another robot out as soon. I think this is the one we just broke. I'm not going to lie. I don't remember all the ro Oh! Oh, just using the weight of the robot. Okay, it's a sub tank. My bad, not a robot. Using the weight of the robot to crush that, though, and not even riding in it? That's actually really funny. Mega Man just got the robot and dropped it like an anvil to break the floor. <laughs> That's hilarious. I didn't know you could do that. Wow, this is a very entertaining run. I hope you guys appreciate this as much as I do. But anyway, it's time to kill Volt Catfish. And there he is, the, Vel the Volt Catfish himself. Um... Yeah, this, I mean, he's Volt Catfish. I was, I was going to make a stupid joke about how he's a seahorse or something, but he, he's obviously a catfish. Come on, guys. Now, his weakness is uh, the drills, but I assume it, there's an issue with the invincibility frames being too slow because usually when you use a weakness on bosses... Okay, so his last hit's going to be with the drill because you don't have to deal with the invincibility frames because he's dead. But with, with Mega Man bosses, when you use their weakness against them, they have a longer invincibility period, and that's slow. And uh, Tass knows what Tass is doing, so uh, good job, Tass. And here we are, Crush Crawfish's stage. Now, this should be a doozy. Oh, first of all, it just punches the ground. Oh, my gosh. I mean, you got to get the robot part, of course. I always forget about the robots. Um, I pretty much never use them in this game, but it looks like we have all four of them, which is nice. And I, I believe we do need one here. This is the missile one. This one shoots robot. This, this is a really cool feature. I... I'm upset I don't play with this more often. Maybe when I do my Mega Man X3, the Cool Way video, I'll play with these robots more and see what I can do. Okay, I didn't even know you needed a robot to blow that up, but I, I believe Taz. Unless this is just faster somehow. And I thought there was an upgrade down there. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe that's something else. Maybe we're going to revisit the stage. I don't know. What do I know? Well, I, I do know a good bit. I, I play Mega Man X a lot. That's why I'm, I'm making these task videos, because I can partially explain some of these tricks. But anyways, time to go to the Mysterious Maverick. And here we are, the Mysterious Maverick's Lair, whatever whatever this is. And uh, who wants to take the elevator? I mean, seriously? Really? You think we got time for an elevator? I'll take the stairs! Except by stairs, I mean the wall. We're gonna climb the wall. And, uh, well, it's about time we fight uh, the Mysterious Maverick and figure out who it is. Who's it gonna be? The suspense is killing me. It's vile. How is this possible? Well, and we're using the weakness. We're just gonna blow up vile. Why would we not blow up vile? I mean, when you kill vile, you get to get the Z saber, which we'll get to see a lot of use of later. Believe me, unless there's something I'm unaware of, which 
Maybe there. This is Tass for crying out loud. Who knows with Tass? But yeah, the, the quick work is being made of Vile right here. Vile's just. It's Vile how uh, bad Vile's getting killed right now. <laughs> Well, there, there he goes. He's, uh, he's, he's, uh, he got blowed up. You see how many explosions this is? This is why we didn't kill bits and bites. It would take way too long. Anyway, now we have a Metroid escape sequence. My favorite video game franchise of all time. I know you guys think it's Mega Man, and Mega Man is easily number two. Including Mega Man X. Mega Man and Mega Man X. It's, it's all Mega Man. And it's a close second, I'll tell you that. But, uh, Super Metroid 2 is the best game of all time. And you know what? I might even go as far as to say Mega Man is my favorite game franchise, just because there's a lot more Mega Man games that I would rate higher than some of the Metroid games. But my favorite game of all time is Super Metroid. Sorry guys, I know that might that might that might be a travesty to Tudor P subscribers, but I still love Mega Man. Don't believe me, I love. I've been playing it since I was like two. Okay, I've also been playing Super Metroid since I was two. They're great games. But anyway, we have a stage to finish, and apparently this here is not just a ship that explodes. This is a submarine. Now, normally I would call it a submarine, but um, I don't want the comments to make fun of me, so I'm going to call it a submarine. And inside of this submarine, uh, submarine, we're going to blow it up, and blowing it up makes it sink. And when a sub, when, it, when, <laughs> when a submarine sinks, it goes ah, ah, and that's why everything is sideways right now. If you if you look out the window, we're side. Anyway, let's kill Crush Crawfish. There he is. The Crush Crawfish. How is this fight going to go? Probably pretty quickly. Yep. Uh, yep. Okay. He, he's the other boss with the invincibility frame exploit. Again, I'm not sure what, what's up with Crush Crawfish and Toxic Seahorse specifically that causes that to happen, but uh, yeah, you could melt their health bar and kill them, which is what happened. And since that was the final Maverick we had to kill, it's time to go back and clean up and get all the upgrades. Now, I'm pretty sure we did get all of them except for the ones in this stage, which is crazy that going to Tunnel Rhino first and then coming back is the best way to do it, but I believe it. Was that a pause cancel? Was that a pause cancel? Oh, I didn't even know you could pause cancel that. That's great. Normally the whole screen shakes for like two and a half minutes, and you don't want to lose two and a half minutes in a speed run. I mean, goodness me. And of course, we got to get this sub tank. So we got the heart tank, the sub tank, and I believe there is the helmet upgrade in this stage as well. But first, we gotta uh, not fight anything because we already killed Bitten Bite. We do have to go through this room first, though. It's a bit of a delay. <sighs> that, was, that was very, um, very fun room, that was. Anyway, continuing on with the stage. We've seen a lot of this already, but now Mega Man's doing it even more enthusiastically and quickly than the other times. Another pause cancel there to go on top of the stage and get the helmet upgrade. And of course we're getting the helmet upgrade last. You know why? Because when you go to a stage with the helmet upgrade on your head, the, the map shows up. It's like a 10 second ordeal. You can't skip it for way too long. This is maybe my least favorite helmet upgrade. I mean, it looks cool. But you see this map right here? That's usually on screen for like way longer. But yeah, I think I think that's every upgrade. I, I maybe we'll see. And yep, we're going right into Sigma Stage One. So that must have been every upgrade, or uh, Tass missed one. But uh, I have complete faith in Tass. Tass is uh, very good at this game, and uh, speed running in general. I don't think Tass would make such a silly mistake as to miss an item. Oh, and Neon Jump to get on that ladder. Crazy stuff. Again, I love neon jumps. They're very hard to perform. You have to you have to like shoot a charge shot and like jump on the same frame or like one frame later. It's a frame perfect trick, I'm pretty sure, but you get a double jump and a dash midair. And if you if you have a double charge shot and you get to dash directly upwards, you basically get like a double double jump. I mean, the the neon jump unlocks unlocks a lot of potential in this game. And again, going to the right side of the screen so that once this robot's dead, you get right next to zero immediately. Otherwise, uh, you would have to wait a second or two. That's a nice time save. Who would expect Taz to see a time save? Not me. Never would have thought. A leap of faith right here. Goodness me. Mega Man was in the air far too long. And here is the golden chip, the one I was talking about. There are four other chips in this game for the legs, the helmet, the arms, and the chest and whatever. But this one does all of them. We're going to see every part of X's armor glow a little bit. Once he's upgraded, there's the helmet, there's the fist, there's the chest, and there is the legs. And now we're gold! We made a gold. Gold's valuable, of course. And because gold is valuable, that means X must be more powerful. Right? 
Oh my gosh, we're already seeing some crazy use of the weapons there. And uh, this is the end of the stage. I wonder which boss we're going to be fighting here. Actually, I don't wonder. I know who this is. It's Bits and Bites back for their revenge. They're going to turn into God Car Machine Oinari, which is uh, this thing. Very interesting name. Apparently, it's a reference to something I was unaware of. That makes a lot more sense. I was just thinking a god and like a car, like a like an automobile in a machine. That's I was. I don't know. Obviously, it's not that. <laughs> but uh, it doesn't matter what it's named because it's dead. And here we have Sigma Stage Two. The carnage continues. Oh, just jumping over that guy. Who needs him? Neon jumping up there. You shouldn't be able to make jumps like that. I mean, you should need- Oh, and dashing in the air to narrowly avoid that laser. Crazy stuff. Leaving bits of acid everywhere. Just- it, Who needs a robot, right? Skip- Ooh. Neon jumps again to get up there. That, that was the whole stage. That was the whole darn stage. Well, um... If Zero's famous for anything, it's dying. So what Zero's gonna do here is, uh... Go to the right side of the screen and uh, die. And we get two zeros again! What? Is this some kind of frame-perfect glitch that somehow gets you two zeros? I don't know how it works. I don't know these glitches. But this happened in the any percent run as well, where we also got these Z-sabers. So, um, cool. Two zeros, and now, now he's stuck up there. <laughs> get down from there, Zero. Zero, get down. You can hurt yourself. Well, who cares if he hurts himself now? He gave us his sword. That's the most valuable part of Zero. You remember the intro stage? It kills that guy in one hit, that purple guy who we never see again. Another clean neon jump. I'm never gonna get tired of him. And that that thing that X keeps like, okay, this is about to be crazy. Neon jump city, everybody. Oh, he even broke that one. The double dash up. We only saw one neon jump. That was crazy. <laughs> again, who who wants to ride those slow snails? Not me. That that's the coolest way to ever take that thing out. I love watching that section in tasks and speed runs and whatever else. Even when I play Mega Man X3, I try to do that and I can do it, but I usually die at least once. But anyway, we have some kind of underwater boss to fight here. But with the Z Saber, he's already dead. So uh he didn't even explode. We skipped the explosion somehow. <laughs> okay. This of course means it's time for Sigma Stage 3, which I believe is the refight stage. So we should be seeing um First of all, all eight Mavericks, and second of all, a pretty quick stage. Who do we got here but Blast Hornet? This troublemaker again. Take care of a Mega Man X. I don't know what you're going to do, but uh, looks like Z Saber. Double Z Saber, he's dead. Blast Hornet died. Oh, who is this but Blizzard Buffalo? Now, this guy can be tricky, Mega Man X. Be careful here. You don't want to mess up on that. Oh, he's already dead. I guess you didn't have to be very careful at all. Oh, uh, who else but Toxic Seahorse? How are you going to take this guy out? Oh, we're just going to use the uh, invincibility frame exploit. Nice. Why, why would we use a Z-Saber? Of course. Duh. There's an invincibility frame exploit. Volge Catfish, eh? It's been a while since I've heard that name. About uh, 20, 20 minutes or so. But he's dead, so we probably won't be hearing it again anytime soon. Neon Tiger, huh? Fake Mega Rob Dad's favorite Maverick, as far as I'm aware. At least his favorite one from this game. And uh, Fake Mega Rob Dad is a Mega Man ROM hack speedrunner. He's been doing some Kaizo Mario lately as well. Check him out on Twitch, but uh, don't check out Neon Tiger because he died. Crush Crawfish, eh? The other guy with the uh, invincibility frame exploit. And of course, it was used against him to his detriment. Crush Crawfish should really get that checked out. Gravity Beetle, eh? I've heard this guy can make black holes. I'd be careful. Black holes are very powerful. There's th that. Was that two of them right there? Almost. Well, doesn't matter now because he died, and uh, so do the black holes, I suppose. Is that Tunnel Rhino? This guy again. We killed this guy first, and uh, now it's time to just kill him. There he goes, he's dead. And that was the final Maverick in the refight. So let's finish off this gauntlet and then take on, uh, what's that guy? I don't even know the guy's name. It's not Dr. Kane, Dr. Doppler. Almost said Dr. Kane, that's the good guy. What am I thinking? That's like saying, oh, there's Dr. Light in the Wily capsule. This is Dr. Doppler. That's why there's a big old D on his, on his health bar. Anyway, this guy's certainly up to no good. I can't read, but he's doing this. Anyone who does this, they're either playing chess or up to no good. I'll tell you that. And oh my gosh, under that uh, cloak of his, he actually... Oh, well, he's actually dead. And the screen is turning white. Ah! Now there he is. He took a knee. 
<laughs> and, uh, you got him, Mega Man. Good job. Sigma stage four time. We see a bunch of Sigma prototypes in the background. A very scary thought that, uh, Mega Man X3's boss could have been, like, five Sigmas at once. I don't know why it wasn't, but it turns out that Sigma was behind this the whole time. Are you kidding me? I thought it was Dr. Doppler this time. It turns out Sigma was manipul- Wait, Captain America? From the Avengers? What are you doing here, Captain America? I didn't expect- Oh, you're- You're dying. Oh. Okay. That makes sense. Um. I hate to see you go, Captain America, but, uh... At the same time, you're evil. But anyway, here comes what most people call the hardest iteration of Sigma in the entire franchise. And again, I don't know if I do agree, but I will say that is fair if you believe that. This Sigma can be hard to hit. The hitbox on his head is so small, it's very easy to miss. I'm sure Tass is going to miss like five times. Never mind, Tass kills him immediately. Uh, you, sh you should probably move though, Tass. That, that giant body is about to fall on top of you, and uh, that, that can't be good. I mean, if the ride armor can break the floor, goodness gracious, what is that thing going to do to you, Mega Man X? Oh, they're talking again. I wish I could read. Oh, what, what, what are you doing there? You're just dashing in the air for fun. Anyway, there's that uh, VFX chip in the Super Nintendo cart coming into handy right here because uh, that thing does wireframes and reduces lag. And uh, we got to escape from this lava. You'd hate to kill that boss and then die to the lava. That'd be awful. Also, why are we on the left side? There we go. The floor is up there. Why would you go to the left side of the screen? And Sigma's gone. Sigma, he's gone. It's a dead end. No, but Sig Sigma's gone, though, so it's fine. Oh, there. Ah, Sigma, he, he found you. I thought your hiding spot was perfect. No. Mega Man X, teleport out of there. Wait, what the heck? What is this guy doing? There, there he goes, taking that knee again. For those of you who don't know, I'm pretty sure this is the Sigma Virus Incarnate, and he was trying to take over Mega Man X's body, because Mega Man X is actually the... I mean, imagine if you had to fight Mega Man X. That wouldn't be good. Uh, Shoutouts to uh, Mega Man X5, by the way. So instead, Dr. Doppler, who was already dying, took on the Sigma Virus, and somehow... Like, oh my god, this part's always so loud. Somehow, Dr. Doppler getting sick with the Sigma virus blew up the entire fortress. I don't understand that, but a uh, valiant effort by Dr. Doppler. He deserves a purple heart, even though this is kind of all of his fault. But yeah, now the Golden Mega Man X just sits there looking at it like, dang, Dr. Doppler really just did that to the Sigma fortress. It was a hole in the ground. Now it's a, could have been a bigger hole in the ground, really. If, X blew it up. Mega Man X usually, I mean, you guys saw Mega Man X1. He really blew up that Sigma castle. But anyway, that was a great run. I certainly enjoyed that task a lot, and I hope you guys did too. There were a ton more glitches in the 100% task than the any percent task, so obviously that means it's right up my alley. I had never seen a lot of these glitches, and the glitch where Zero like went through the floor and skipped the mini boss and Toxic Seagors' stage was crazy. That was my favorite glitch. But comment your favorite glitch down in the comments. I'd love to hear it. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and because you guys did behave yourself and you have been good, we are going to be taking a look at the Mega Man X1, X2, and X3 simultaneously simultaneous task coming up next and if you don't know what that means basically it means that uh with one controller Tass is going to beat Mega Man X1 X2 and X3 at the same time with the same inputs going into all three games and getting 100% of the items so a 300% Tass run I'm very excited to see that you guys in the comment section seem like you were excited to see that so I hope that goes well but until then I'll see you next time even though I keep saying that it doesn't make sense but I will see you next time I will I will be there